what can actually happen is you start to risk injuring your hypo, hippocampus, your hippocampus, sorry. So the hippocampus, which you showed here, is very important to learning and memory. So when you have chronic stimulation of the HPA access and elevated levels of cortisol, which is just, you know, pandemic in uh, the world just because of the internet and phone and everything that's going on in the world and money and blah, 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 all of this stuff. Everyone is sitting in a state of high cortisol. They're stuck in the sympathetic um, nervous system. They're in this fight or flight. It's definitely affecting their cognitive performance. And the way that it's stimu or the way that it's damaging or uh, harmful to learning is through the hippocampus. Now, the hippocampus happens to be sensitive to cortisol. And what happens when you have high levels of cortisol is that you actually alter the synaptic responses within the hippocampus. When you start to disrupt the hippocampus neurons, this is clearly going to be affecting memory and learning. Some interesting studies that I was finding along this, and there's many, many, is that individuals that are diagnosed with PTSD, anxiety, depression, lots of stress, whether it's from, you know, home or work or whatnot, actually have, have marked deficits in memory, learning, focus, etc. This one here happened to be looking at PTSD, depression, and they had uh, disruptions with verbal recall. Another one saw memory deficits in patients with Cushing syndrome. If you're not familiar with Cushing syndrome, it is a response to being on chronic uh, prescription steroids. So if you have um, an autoimmune condition, you have um, you know, fibromyalgia or lupus or rheumatoid arthritis, any of your clients that might be on any sort of steroids because of autoimmune conditions, you want to be thinking of they're going to have an effect with their hippocampus. Memory, learning, hippocampus, super sensitive to to cortisol or even corticosteroids, synthetic steroids, things like that. So how and can you enhance the hippocampus function after prolonged stress? Let's say you have a client who happened to be going through, um, maybe they were previously on the steroids, they had some trauma, so they're going through, through PTSD, and now they're working with you, they're using exercise and movement to help optimize their brain function after this experience. So can you enhance hippocampus function after prolonged stress? Absolutely. What is the number one, number one way to grow hippocampus neurons and optimize function of the brain, thinking memory learning, is exercise. So one of the best ways to actually stimulate hippocampus neuron growth is through exercise. Now, the type of exercise that actually does this the most is aerobic exercise. So you want to make sure that you're doing an aerobic aspect.